Hello, good day everyone. So magandang araw po sa lahat. So our topic for today is all about the solution of quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. But we have to use, but before we have to use the quadratic formula, we are going first to I have to show you kung paano or saan ang galing yung formula na ito. But actually the formula starts from the standard form of Hello, good day everyone. So magandang araw po sa lahat. So our topic for today is all about the solution of quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. But we have to use, but before we have to use the quadratic formula, we are going first to I have to show you kung paano or saan ang galing yung formula na ito. But actually the formula starts from the standard form of quadratic equation is in a form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So this is in the standard form of a quadratic equation. So sa ngayon is ipapakita ko sa inyo kung saan nang gagaling talaga yung quadratic formula. Ito kasi is suppose na makalimutan natin yung quadratic formula but the the method that we will need to use is the by the use of uh, completing the square method in order for us to arrive in a quadratic formula. No? So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung saan ang galing yung quadratic formula. Then, we have to, I'll have to give you an example in using also the quadratic formula. Okay? So, if this will be the standard form of a quadratic equation, we are going to to equate that this will become equal to ax squared plus bx so we have to transpose that into the right hand side for applying the uh, the subtraction property of equality this will become equal to 0 minus c or simply we have ax squared plus bx is equal to negative c since that the numerical coefficient of our leading term or our quadratic term is equals to a, so kinakailangan kasi or it is required na dapat yung numerical coefficient ng ating x squared dito ay magiging positive 1. So we have to, we need to divide both sides or our equation is it by, or every term if by a, we have to divide it by a, then we have to also divide it by a, so that this will become equal to positive 1, magiging x squared na lang yung matira, plus b over a x is equal to negative c over a. So, ang i-apply na natin ngayon dito yung by completing the square method na kung saan titingnan natin palagi by inspection yung ating numerical coefficient ng ating x squared. So, since this is now equal to positive 1, yung numerical coefficient niya, so we can now isolate this. We have b over a. We have to multiply it by 1 half. So, it is the rule, no? Then, uh, under the completing the square method, then we have to square that. No? And then, this is equals to uh, b times 1 is b all over, over a times 2 is 2a. Then, we have to square that. No? So, this is equal to simplifying b times b is b squared over 2a times 2a that is equals to 4a squared. Ito ngayon yung i-add natin both sides of our equation, left and the right. Huh? So, so that this will become perfect square trinomial on the left-hand side of our quadratic equation. So this will become equal to x squared plus b over a x plus the resulted uh, based on the a half of b and squaring that. This will become equal to b squared plus 4a squared. So, ito na ngayon. No? It's equal to, same as true with the other side, negative c over a plus we have b squared over 4a squared. So, after that is we need to factor this. No? So, this will become equal to x squared plus uh, b over a 
plus b squared over 4a squared. I-rewrite na natin. Is equal to, so, is equal to, we can uh, now combine this. LCD natin is 4a squared. So, 4a squared divided by a is equal to 4a times c, that is negative 4ac. Then, we have 4a squared divided by 4a squared is equal to 1 times b squared is equal to positive b squared. No? So, ito, this is now, uh, yung sinabi ko kanina, this is now a perfect square trinomial. So, pag perfect square trinomial, ang uh, proseso natin dito is, kunin natin yung value ng x. We have x. Then, we have to copy the sign of the middle term. We have positive. Then, we have to find the square root of b squared. This is equals to b. And the square root of 4a squared. Since this is our the perfect square, we have... Uh, uh, we have we have b over 2a. Then we need to square that all over. It's equals to So ito pwede natin susulat. Nakasanayan kasi natin susulat yung positive dun sa nauna. So no changing of sign ito. We have positive b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So in extracting square root, i-extract na natin ngayon yung square root, no? Para makuha natin yung value ng x. Ang point natin dito is to get the value of x here. And kung ano yung magiging value ng x natin dito, ito na yun yung magiging quadratic formula natin later on. So ipapakita ko lang kung saan ang galing talaga yung quadratic formula natin. Before, I'll have to give you an example on how to solve quadratic equation using this quadratic formula. Okay? So extracting square root, we directly x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over over 4a squared. So, dapat hanggang dito yung square root sign natin, yung radical, radical sign natin. So, this will become equal to x plus b over 2a is equal to so, since that the numerator, the uh, denominator of our radicand is 4a squared is a perfect square, so, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over square root of 4 is 2, square root of a squared is a. Okay? So, next is we need to transpose this into the right-hand side so that x na lang yung matitira doon sa ating left-hand side. So, x now equals to, uh, so, change the sign, negative b over 2a. Plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Since magkapareho sila ng denominator, so we are going to, we can combine this. No? So x now equal to, we have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So ito na ngayon yung formula natin or yung tinatawag natin quadratic formula. No? So, x is equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, ito ngayon yung gagamitin natin na formula to solve any problem or any quadratic equations. No? Na kung gusto natin alamin yung mga ating ating mga uh, any given quadratic equations using quadratic formula. So, I have to give you. No? So, tandaan natin yung formula. No? Yung formula natin dito is ito. We have x is equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. So, susulat natin dito. No? Para hindi natin makalimutan. Sulat natin. We have uh, x is equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Ito na ngayon yung quadratic formula natin. So, huwag kalimutan yan. Imumorize natin yan. Pero kung halimbawa, nakalimutan nyo ito, so you need to uh, follow based on the standard form. Pwede na lang natin ma-work out yung equation na to. Okay? So, I will give you an example. Suppose we have uh, example. We have uh, x squared 
minus 6x is equals to negative 5. So, ang ruling natin dito, when you are applying quadratic formula, is kinakailangan dapat yung given formula natin or yung before we are applying quadratic formula, using quadratic formula, dapat nasa standard form. So, equated into 0. So, in this case, hindi siya. So, kailangan natin i-work out itong formula na to para matransform natin muna into a standard form, which is x squared minus 6x. So, negative 5 or applying addition proper cubic quality. We have to add 5 here. Doon sa kabila, mag-add tayo ng 5. Magiging 0 na yan. So, this will become equal to 0. Then, after that, we need to identify the 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 value of our a the value of our b and also the value of our c no? so based on the standard form we have ax squared no meron tayong ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so yung a natin dito is 1 our b here is negative 6 no yung b natin which is equals to negative 6 and our c in this case is equal to positive 5. Okay? You have to affect the sign. No? Bring the sign. Okay? Now, so after that, isusulat mo na doon sa ating formula. Since na ito yung formula natin, gamitin na natin ito directly. So, our x now becomes equals to negative b. Yung b natin is negative 6. So, you have to put negative since our b is negative 6. No? Ito yung kadalasang mali. No? Kasi na direct, direct natin na pagsulat. No? So, we must be careful about the sign. Then, we have to affect the sign. Kung ano yung value niya. So, we have positive or negative. Square root of. The value of our B is negative 6. Then, we have to square that based on our formula. Na nagawa kanina. Minus. 4. Constant ito. Palaging 4 yan. A natin is 1. Then, times our C is positive 5. So, 5 all over. Lahat ng ito ay over 2a. So, we have constant 2 times a is equals to 1. Then, we need to solve the resulting equations. We have x is equal to uh, negative times negative is positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 times negative 6 is equals to 36 minus 4 times 5 that is equals to 20 over 2 times 1. Oh, pasensya na kayo doon sa maingay ha. Okay. So we have x now equals to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 20 is 16 all over 2 times 1 is 2. So we are now taking positive. No? We have to take positive so that we have two values here. We have x now. Kunin natin yung positive. We have 6 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is equals to 4. Take positive. No? Plus na lang ito. So, positive 16, uh, square root of 16 is 4 all over 2, which is equals to 6 plus 4 is 10 divided by 2. So, x is equals to 5. So, ito yung first value natin. Second value natin, take negative, is kunin natin yung negative sign dito. Yung minus tayo. We have x is equals to 6 minus, square root of 16 is 4 over 2. So, x 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 over 2, then x equals to positive 1. So, we have two values here no? based on the given quadratic equation. So, x squared minus 6x is equals to negative 5, yung original quadratic equation natin. Suppose that we have to, so, to substitute those uh, variables, so I think uh, 100% no? that these two values can satisfy the given equation. So that's all. See you tomorrow for another topic in mathematics. Hope it can help. Will serve in your guide. This will be your guide. Bye-bye. Maraming salamat. At kung ikaw ay interesado ng mga bidyong tulad nito, mangyaring suportahan ang channel na ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpindot ng like, pag-share ng mga video at kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, Please subscribe sa channel na ito at pindutin ang notification bell at piliin ang all upang maabisuhan ka para sa mga paparating pang mga videos.